Kill the fluff! We killed it. We did it! Okay, yep, yeah, that has been blinded, so let's kill one that has not been blinded. Sounds like a plan to me! Okay, well, you know what, Estelle, I'm kind of disappointed in you in that you did not kill it, but you did blind it at least, so I guess the threat is minimal. Shoes. You already took everything it had to offer. What more do you want? A screenshot, actually. Also, what do those shoes do? Anything interesting? Uh, they increase movement! Oh, that seems really useful. That seems really useful. Oh, I ran into a monster that I did not see. Uh oh. I mean, if you're gonna hit someone, I'd rather it be a stealth. Not him! I need to keep protect him, apparently. Like, th this is a fairly common thing, it seems. Okay, wow. Um... That's not good. Estelle, just please heal the sorry ass. Things are awful. Okay. <laughs> Didn't even kill it. Oh, that was its turn. Okay, Estelle, I really need you to start hitting harder again. Please. That's that. They're only worth out. one X XP apiece. Those things are completely not worth fighting. Oh, well, here's the way up, but I feel like there's going to be a box on the other side, so we're going to need to try and find that. Okay, we- wait, there's two ways up. What? Hmm, oh, there's another one. Oh, hey, I was right. Found a tear bomb. The chest mocks you with its emptiness. Off we go! Hmm. I see. So this was a little side place. Man, just... Screw the... Screw you in particular. You are a terrible enemy. 
as in just really frustrating. <laughs> like, come on! You're easily the most annoying enemy in this place, and you only drop oh, one experience point! Cool. That, that kinda sucks. But hey, I got a box. You know... You know, I'm gonna just, uh... I have a vision right now. <laughs> Yeah, somehow I felt this might happen. Monsters! Okay, so how am I gonna do this? Um, well, let's take a look first. A monster that lurks in treasure chests. It explodes when it's defeated, so kill it from afar. Okay. Well. I'm going to do as... Oh, wait. Hmm. Yeah, I better, um... Will that... I mean, no, because it still won't go fast enough. Okay, that's interesting. Not really what I was expecting. Well, this is either good or really bad. Okay, nope, that's bad. Freaking heal them. Okay, that works. I cannot use this until it is Joshua's turn, otherwise it'll screw up the spell. There, now I can use that. Okay, well, I just blew my CP load, but you know, I'm not gonna have my... The people that you need to protect are not gonna get murdered! So, I'm gonna call this one a win. Also, I'm not gonna get murdered by an explosion either, so you know I have that going on. That's that then. Let's move out. Oh, Joshua leveled up. Lots of Sepith though. And what was in the box? A tin staff. Apparently someone already looted this chest. Now who could that be? A tin staff, you say? Uh, well, it is a clear improvement. Plus one range, or, or it's a staff, so. Cool. Hmm. Oh, well, I managed to get past one of them. Up we go on to floor number five. Again. This time the one without the boo trap chest. Wait a second. What was over here? The way in. Okay. So uh what was over here then? Another box. Found a potluck in a shell. 
I'd ask yourself how long that pollock has been in this chest. And if you feel lucky. I'd love it. <laughs> um, let's take a look. I'm guessing that is... He is... Oh, here's Kale! Hmm. Now the thing is, I kind of want to eat this sooner so that I get the recipe. Decisions, decisions. There's a tree in the middle? Hmm. That's interesting. I feel like there might be a monster on top. Oh, well, there's definitely something there. What is that? Wow, it's right out here. It looks like we finally made it to the rooftop. Would you look at that beautiful scenery? No, this is something else. It looks like we should be able to get a better shot than I had originally thought. And that's the thing I was telling you about earlier? That's the thing I was telling you about earlier. Yeah, what is that thing? Please elaborate. I want to know. Uh, actually, it looks a little bit like a, um, an orbment. Yeah, that's what I was just saying, Dorothy. According to my sources, it's some kind of ancient device. Although nobody seems to know what it's for. Hmm. Hey Joshua, did you know something like this was up here? Uh, it sounds like he might have. It's no use hiding. I think it would be wise to come out where we can see you. Oh no, he detected a person? Please don't hurt me. I'll come out already. I'll come out right now. Wh who is hit he? Who indeed? So somebody arrived before we did. Hmm. What a surprise that was. Nice find, Joshua. Good observation skills. Those points you put into your spot check really paid off. I apologize. Please forgive me. I'll give you every last mirror I have! Please spare my life! Look here, buddy. Please don't mistake us for robbers or something weird. You do recognize this emblem, don't you? Wait, if it isn't the Bracers Guild... So, you're trying to tell me that you're bracers? In the flesh! I'm Estelle, and this is Joshua. Indeed. Uh, yep, that's, that's pretty much the story. So far. I'm relieved to hear that. Please just don't ever scare me like that again! The fact that you came up here like that made me suspicious of you. Uh, yeah, you do seem super suspicious. Do you mind telling us who you are? I apologize for my belated introduction. My name is Alba, and I am an archaeologist. I came to investigate the tower in order to further my research of ancient civilizations. <laughs> so much. But actually, I've grown accustomed to investigating ruins like these. You see, I've got a lot of confidence in my ability to flee from monsters if need be. Although, this time I find myself in a bit of a pickle. Uh, indeed. Very, um, daring, let us say. <laughs> Being an archaeologist would mean that you're familiar with the tower's origin origins, would it not? Well, more than the average person, anyway. But since I've only begun my investigation, there are still a lot of things I do not know myself. Uh, is there? I'm quite curious myself. Let's see. Has everyone heard of the Septerons before? Terions? 
I think Brother Design might have said something about that before. You mean the seven treasures endowed with power and bestowed upon the ancients by... Uh, by... Ideos, right? That is exactly what I am referring to. It seems these ancients ruled the earth, seas and skies using the powers of these treasures. It has also been written that there were they were even able to unlock the secrets of time and space themselves! Approximately 1200 years ago, when this ancient civilization was destroyed by a mysterious calamity, these Septarians were also lost. Hmm. What indeed? A part of the legend states that one of the Septarians slumbers somewhere within Liberal. Liberal, rather. Its name? The... Oriel? Really? It's like an aura combined with an Oreo. Um... <laughs> the Oriel. That word certainly has a strange ring to it. If the legend is true, I figure I might be able to find some clues here in the tower, since it's one of the oldest ruins in all of Liberal. Liberal. So I came out to investigate. It is, isn't it? You can feel my passion for things of antiquity, right? This is splendid. I'm overjoyed that there's someone else who understands the way I feel. Uh, good question. I, I'm, I'm still working on that part. But I can figure out how this device, but if I can figure out how this device works, I might be on to something. Uh, so it would seem. Oh, well that's a shame. I'm surprised myself. Contrary to my expectations, you are serious about the articles you write. Uh, hmm. We may run into the occasional gossip column, but it's the policy of the liberal news that to verify our information. That aside, let's get what we came here for, shall we? Dorothy, I want you to get several pan panorama shots of the Roland region. Everything else I'll leave up to your aesthetic touch. Now get out there and get me some good pictures. Your apprentice, Dorothy Yat, is ready for action! As for you, Mr. Archaeologist, how about we head back to town? How about you head back to town with us when we're done here? These two kids may look like a couple of brats, but they do a pretty fine job as escorts. Hmm. Estelle seems to catch a lot of these. If it's alright with you to have me along, then that's far more than I could ask for. Then I guess it's decided. So how about we take a break until Dorothy finishes getting her shots? That is a nice view. Yeah, I was just saying that, Estelle. I was just saying it. From this height, I can see all of Roland. With scenery this good, if someone turned this place into a tourist spot, they'd probably make a bootleg of Mira. Bootload. Boatload! Yeah, you're probably right. You don't seem too enthusiastic there, Joshua. I can't hide anything from you, can I? After we stepped into the roof, I just started feeling a little woozy. Yeah, I think I'll be alright once I get a bit of fresh air. You say, standing on top of a tower. B but broadening one's knowledge during a time like this is all the part of being a bracer. If you come across anything interesting, then you can tell me about it later, alright? Sometimes you can be such a smooth talker, you know? Alright, I'll have a look around. 
But if you start feeling any worse, you do let me know, okay? Oh man, a taste of a cigarette is... No. I'm not finishing that sentence. At first I wasn't in the mood to come and do a store in a rural place like Roland. But now... Sometimes these type of places aren't so bad. If you want to be rude like that, then maybe you shouldn't have come at all. No can do. This is a direct order from the editor-in-chief. Teach that blockhead girl a thing or two. Otherwise, I'd be all over the kingdom searching for the latest scoop right now. Not that I have anything against gossip, but reporterage is predominantly greater. And in that sense, the place that has my interest peak is Bose. A number of large burglaries have taken place there, one after another. The identity of the criminals is unknown. But it seems as though the group has got a pair of wings. What are they? Sky bandits or something? Surely it would be a sky. Pirate? Sun. Two sunglasses. That seems to be the most logical conclusion. But there's also the possibility that they could be. an Im imitative deception by the Empire. No, that seems quite possible to me. That's why it's a deception. Sure, but if the Empire incurred some heavy loss... No... Wait. No if in there. Uh... Hmm. They can't do much now that every other nation on the continent has their eye on them, but... It could be a way to get back at us. That said, nobody really knows for sure. Which is why our job as reporters is to bring these things to light. Oh, Estelle, this place is wonderful, isn't it? I'm even starting to wonder if the number of photo courts is going to be enough. By the way, what's a photo quartz? It's an ultra thin crystal circuit fabricated from septium. It's set up so that you can take a photograph by burning it with light. That reminds me, what's the deal with Joshua? A ribbon-haired young man stands silently in the flowing breeze. I think I could take a really good picture of that kind of setting. Do you think he'd let me snap a shot of him if I asked? Hmm, no he doesn't, does he? Ah, what a waste. He's probably just shy, right? Uh, I have actually seen some evidence to suggest that he is in fact shy. I don't know if just is the right word, but he is also shy. Oh, hi there, Estelle. Is your partner feeling alright? He just said he wants to get a bit of fresh air. I see. There's certainly a nice breeze up here, isn't there? I wanted to say, however, that I'm impressed that the both of you are bracers at such a young age. If I remember correctly, one must be at least 16 years of age to qualify, right? You sure know your stuff. And that's right, I'm exactly 16 myself. How nice it is to be young. There are limitless possibilities at that age. If I were about ten years younger, I'd solve the mystery mysteries of these runes across the entire continent with these very hands! The entire continent, eh? That's a pretty tall order. Which means you're not from a liberal, right? Nope, I was born in the north. But just for the record, I'm not from Erbonia either. Although I hate more with a passion, that hatred isn't directed at the people of the Empire. Hmm. 
I'm sorry. I didn't mean to bring up any painful memories. It's okay. It happened more than ten years ago. And since then, there's been a new addition to the family. Oh, so you mean that boy over there? Yep, he's like a little brother. Although he's probably trying to act more like an older brother. Wonder why I'm telling you all of this. Usually there isn't the kind of thing a person tells others. This. Rather. It's perfectly fine. Aren't the good relations such a wonderful thing? No, I'm much better. I should be good to head back whenever everyone's ready. I'm relieved to hear that, but what brought this all on, anyway? I doubt it was lack of oxygen in the tower, because the rest of us are alright. Maybe it was a sudden fear of heights? I don't think so. Are you finished taking pictures? You bet I am, and I got a lot of good ones, too. Then it looks like we're done here. How about we head back to town? Alright, Greenhorns, lead the way. Oh, straight back to town. Thanks so much for escorting me back here. This is the first time I've ever been able to make it back from some ruins without being chased or bitten, or... You get the idea. You don't need to thank us, it's our duty as bracers. I think you'd be better off hiring some bracers to begin with next time you go off to investigate some ruins. <laughs> Have a wonderful day, and I hope we can meet again. I think it's about time we said goodbye as well. It was a bit... I, I was a bit nervous at first, but you kids did a fine job. Let me just say thank you to the both of you. That's what I like to call RAW SKILL! Now don't get all cocky on me. The bracers I know would make you two look like little fledglings, not ready to leave the nest. You're gonna need to work harder. I'll try to remember that. So the two of you are heading back to the company soon? Nah, we're gonna spend a day or so relaxing here. I need to write up a rough draft for some articles and such. Don't break anything, Dorothy. I guess this is the last week of the jobs we got from Dad. They were much tougher than I thought they'd be. Uh, yeah, I, I have to agree. I concur. I feel like I have a greater awareness of what it means to be a bracer, and not just about fighting for justice. Hmm. It seems like we've got a long road ahead of us if we want to succeed in this profession. For the time being, why don't we go report to the guild? But before we do that, how are you doing? Still not feeling well? Thanks for asking. But I'm feeling a lot better. Okay, so... Highway is south. So we could go report to the guild, but I'm gonna take a detour. First. Uh... Although, before I do that... Oh, careful, Mo. Don't go hitting random keys. Uh, before I do that, though, uh, I think now is a good time for me to take a short break. So, I will be back in a cup. well, depending on whether you're watching this live or not, a, a couple of minutes or a couple of days. Either way, I'm gonna cut off here for a short while. So, uh, I'll be back soon! <laughs>